Hello, welcome to the Wednesday, July 17th, 2019 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Swindon, England. We got another follow-up to the Zoom vulnerability on Mac OS. Last week, Zoom and Apple released patches to address a serious vulnerability in this video conferencing software, mostly centered around the web server that was installed by Zoom and opened up the system to vulnerabilities. Apple even went as far as to label uh, the Zoom web server as malware, which caused it to be removed automatically. Now, in addition to the main Zoom video conferencing software, there are also co-branded versions of the software published by RingCentral and Sumo. These versions of the software had the same problem, but weren't covered by the initial set of patches and by Apple's malware removal tool. Apple now added additional signatures to its tool, so these particular partner apps, as Zoom calls them, should also be cleaned up. Remember, just uninstalling Zoom is not going to uninstall the web server, so you have to remove that web server separately if you're trying to clean up uh, this particular mess by hand. And Lenovo patched a critical vulnerability in the iOmega network storage devices. If you have one of those iOmega branded devices, which are now sold via Lenovo, please check for the update on Lenovo's website. The problem here is an API. Both White Hat Security and Vertical Structures reported this vulnerability to Lenovo and essentially this API allows unrestricted, unauthenticated access to all files stored on the device. So while you need to log in, if you use the normal web interface, this API allows direct access bypassing any authentication. If you ever sort of looked a little bit at the back end of a lot of airline reservation systems, you may have come across the name Amadeus. Amadeus is a company that essentially runs a lot of the back end databases covering flight availability and reservations. Well, as part of their systems, they also have a feature in their API that allows the generation of boarding passes. But security company Seven Elements uh, did find an interesting and simple to exploit vulnerability in this process that would allow anybody to download any boarding pass. The only identifier was a guessable serial number that could be used to identify a particular booking. Seven Elements reported this vulnerability to Amadeus via an airline back on July 10th and already Amadeus has fixed this problem. And the FBI released a flash alert with the master decryption keys for the Gantt Grab ransomware. Gantt Grab caused a lot of damage over the last couple of years and recently Gantt Grab or the group behind it announced that, well, they're going to actually retire. In response, we have seen decryption tools pop up for various versions of Gantt Grab. Now with the release of these master decryption keys, you can actually create also so your own decryption tool. But for most users, it's probably still easier to just download a decryption tool from nomoreransom.org. And both WhatsApp and Telegram on Android suffer, according to a researcher from Symantec, of a file jacking vulnerability. The problem is that in Android, applications can save files in two spots, internal storage, which is usually on the device itself, and external storage, which may extend to removal st storage cards like SD cards some Android devices offer. The problem with external storage is that all applications have read-write access to it. 
And WhatsApp does use external storage by default for media files. So if you receive an image, it's stored in external storage, or then you may send an image from external storage via WhatsApp. But since this is stored on external storage, malicious software running on the Android device could alter the file before it's being sent to the recipient. So while the risk isn't uh, huge for this particular vulnerability, it's certainly there. Symantec recommends that developers either use internal storage, which is limited to the particular application, or implement integrity checks or encryption in order to protect files that they are saving to external storage. Well, and this is it for today. Thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.